What's going on, friends? Logan Myers here for Cinefellows.com to review the brand new pilot episode that I've been patiently waiting for. I've been really excited for this for months. Uh, the first episode that just debuted on the DC Universe streaming platform. I'm talking about Swamp Thing. So I'm a huge fan of Swamp Thing. I have been for a long time. I was a huge fan of the comics, still am. I just wa rewatched the movies. Uh, the first one from 1983, directed by Wes Craven. Doesn't really hold up as much as I remember. It's pretty cheesy, it's a B movie, but I love B like horror movies and things like that. But the Swamp Thing himself, like the, the costume in the first movie, I don't know, it just didn't work for me <laughs> watching it years later. Um, but I did like the you know 90s TV show that they had on. Um, just a big fan of Swamp Thing overall, and I was really excited for this. So the setup of this first episode, it's a very dark and dingy setup. I'm at this town in Louisiana, reminded me a lot of like True Blood or True Detective, just the way that everything looked. Uh, them going into the swamps, you know, you have all the trees covering the swamps, so it's really dark, and it really has this eerie tone to it, and I really love that from the get-go. We see a bunch of people that are in the swamps, and they get attacked by what lies beneath the swamp. And the story is like there's this viral outbreak um, introducing Andy Bean's character. He plays Alec Holland, which was the botanist becoming, you know, Swamp Thing. If you know, if you're original with the source material, you know who Alec Holland is. So it's really cool. When investigating this viral outbreak, he comes across Abby Arcane, played by Crystal Reed. And she's also there looking at this viral outbreak, you know, trying to investigate and figure out what exactly happened, how this outbreak took place and what's, you know, the cause. So that introduces those two characters and you can see that they have some chemistry in the very first episode, them trying to investigate this and figure out what exactly happened. We're also introduced to Virginia Madsen's character, Maria Sunderland. Uh, something's very off about her. I love this actress. She's been acting for a long time, been in a lot of great movies, but something about her just seems off. Um, she's married to Will Patton's character, which is Avery Sunderland, and he has that sweet Southern hospitality charm. Uh, you know, talking to the townspeople in Louisiana, he just has some charm about him where uh, his wife is like the complete opposite. Uh, she has a dark past, something happened to her. What I absolutely love about Swamp Thing is the atmosphere, is the, you know, the set, them actually going into the swamps and capturing how dark it is and eerie in there. It's very terrifying from a person being from the Midwest you know, being down in the south a few times and never went into the swamps, you know, gators and snakes and shit like that. It, it could be very scary and eerie and it's a great setup. And we see a few things happen in the swamp in the introduction of the episode and throughout the first episode of, of the swamp coming to life and like impale some dude and just like straight up gory. And it really has the horror movie elements to it, which I absolutely love. This is a very darker take on Swamp Thing, on the source material being the comic books. And, uh, you know, they really went for it, went really dark. And that's what I really appreciate about, you know, just DC Universe platform altogether, the streaming service, you know. I reviewed Doom Patrol, which I absolutely loved, and Titans, I watched, I haven't reviewed it yet, but I actually like it. Um, it's very dark, both those shows. And now you have Swamp Thing, which is like a straight up horror movie coming to the streaming service. So I really love what they're doing at DC Universe. Um, they're making better TV shows than they are movies, so, you know, they keep putting out new shows, I'm gonna keep watching them because I have not been disappointed yet. And there's a few sequences in this episode where, again, you see um, kind of a corpse, what happened to him in the swamp, and it like coming to life, and it turned into like, John Carpenter's the thing that like sits up and is like moving around. And you have Alec and Abby trying to fight off what the swamp has done to this person, how it's coming alive with like the branches and vines and things like that. It's really cool how they did that. I think that in terms of that part, that was more like, um, CGI, but um, with the actual Swamp Thing himself, it's all like practical effects. And I just love the way they did Swamp Thing in this. It stayed true to the comics and it looks really scary. And we get a short glimpse of Swamp Thing at the very end of this episode. I don't want to say too much, but Derek Mears plays Swamp Thing, which I'm a huge fan of his. We're a huge fan of Derek Mears here at Cinefellas. We've met him a few times at a few of the horror conventions, I think in Chicago and uh, in Indiana, but he's a, just a really cool, big guy. He's like a big teddy bear, we love him, really nice guy. It's really cool seeing him transform into this like creature and the practical effects and the people that did the makeup on this costume just did an excellent job. It's definitely one of the best parts of the show. There's a lot of great aspects to this, but uh, just the way that Swamp Thing looks, it's just so awesome and scary at the same time. So overall, the pilot episode of Swamp Thing that just debuted on May 31st on the DC Universe streaming platform, 
was a fucking kick-ass time, something I've been looking forward to for some time. And I just watched the first episode. I was so wrapped up in this world that they're building in Louisiana. There's a lot of dark mystery behind this town. I'm getting introduced to Avery's and trying to figure out what they're all about and what they're up to. Um, also introducing, you know, Alec Holland, played by Andy Bean. He did a great job with this. Really excited to see Andy Bean in It Chapter 2 that's coming out this summer. Um, first time I've actually seen him on screen, and I thought he did a really great job with Alec Holland playing this botanist and the things he comes across in this episode. And I thought Crystal Reed did a really good job with Abby Arcane's character. Uh, she was more the, the focal point in this episode, more than Alec Holland, uh, her investigating this, trying to figure out what happened with this viral outbreak. And, you know, with her and Andy being on camera together, they really had this good chemistry. And it's not over the top like rom-com or anything, but that you could see that sparks are flying and there's some sort of, you know, connection there. And uh, really interested to see what happens in the remaining episodes. So kudos to the practical effects team and uh, transforming Derek Mears into the Swamp Thing because he was fucking badass. Just the little glimpse that we got and seeing his red eyes coming out of the water. I thought it was shot very well. So overall, I'm going to give Swamp Thing, the pilot episode, a four and a half out of five Swamp Thing hair pieces. So if you guys did check out the first episode of Swamp Thing on the DC Universe platform, what did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? What are you looking forward to in the remaining episodes of the season? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit subscribe. This is Logan Meyer signing out from the sweet southern swamps down here in Louisiana. <laughs> Until the next video review. Cheers!